And welcome back. This is turn eight of Lanzaraf Reggio Home Brew Game. Using the rules from Rapper Fire Reloaded. Currently, uh, the game has the Americans on the ridge. 394th Infantry Regiment, uh, their uh, intelligence and reconnaissance platoon, and picked young special troops led by Lieutenant Lyle Buck or Bork. Uh, two by nine squads, two by nine man squads. Seven man HQ section, so name any 18, 7, 25. Uh, they're holed up here in trenches. That wall, as I've said before, is uh, barbed wire. Trenches, men are all in trenches. So uh, I've been thinking about writing up this scenario for wrapped fire reloaded. Um, I think it's fun. It's a good idea. I mean, there's no way the Americans are going to win, but I might add in a stalling win if you can stall them for a certain amount of time. Um, they've wiped out the company that was coming up here. Six vehicles, uh, three destroyed. Oh, they get this focus turned off. And uh, they were routed, so they've been sent off three vehicles. So lost in the SDK half track, and uh, what else? I think it may have been two half tracks. Yeah, yeah, two half tracks and an SDK. Um, so there's another company coming in, a couple of companies. There's a Mark IV, Panzer II, Mark IV, Panzer, Panzer IV, 75 mil, a couple of Opel trucks carrying troops. They dropped off uh, Neville workers. Very nice miniatures. If we can get a good It's all the dead. <laughs> um, so currently it's the Americans' turn, and you'll notice that I'm saying so a lot. And basically, I'm gonna need to find a new word. Um, okay, let me see here. The Americans. are taken, Americans don't take any because they've been told to hold at all costs, no retreat, no surrender. Chance observation tests are carried out, there's no chance of seeing anyone at the moment. We've got this smoke here that was fired uh, by the Germans last turn, so smoke shells are fired, are they going to fire any? Nope. Figures and vehicles are moved. Let's see what I need to move. Get this bit. 
bazooka mine up in the trench. Look at their mortars closer in their trenches because uh, they must know that there's going to be an attack. No, that's just the thing. There's a 57 there. Here. And, uh, I would like to get them higher up. Yeah, but it means having the limber up. in a hillside in woods so they're down to like six inch movement actually infantry or less let me check okay i need to look at the roots here already because uh i think when you're moving artillery it can take up the turn let's see right troops or vehicles must do a d6 each turn they wish to move over a hill or through a wood and deduct the score from their maximum movement. Some woods can be classed as impossible. Moving and firing in the same turn. Yeah, here we go. Infantry and most vehicle mounted weapons can move and fire in the same turn, however. This is not allowed for towed artillery, ground mounted machine guns, motors and guns that are normally deployed off their wheels, such as the German 88 flak. So... Right, six inches is deducted from a vehicle movement for limbering on limbering gun. A further six inches deducted from a vehicle movement if the unlimbered gun wishes to fire in the same turn. This means a player wishing to fire a limbered gun that is off road can only unlimber and fire from the position it is in at the start of the turn. Okay, so if I limber that up. That's going to take one turn and then to move it to this hill here. Yeah, right. We're obviously going to roll the For the amount of movement these guys are going to, I'm going to make this difficult because A, they're moving a gun on a slope, ravine hill, in a wood, and they're moving it from one point to another, so they can only move six inches. If they're pulling it on its wheels, and if they limber it up, and then move it with the truck. I believe it's nine inches for the M3. That's a British truck, but it's really the M3. I just haven't got a lot of these. So 15 cross country. Oh, I'll probably regret this, but hey, let's go. So this is what it loses from its movement. It's got 15 cross country. It's uphill in a wood. I'm gonna reduce that to half again. So 15 down to seven. 
seven and a half inches, right? So it's losing one six inches. So that's pretty good, actually. Right, that is its turnover. So I'm gonna to have to unload that on limber in the next turn for the Americans. I wanted it operational because he that Panzer IV is on its way up. Actually, I'm gonna move this into. This is only gonna go. Let's check. So it's losing five off. Get them up to a high position. So the other one's coming in the artillery. Okay, I think that's the American stone. We have artillery that the Americans can fire. But everything has been blown up and routed that they can see. Obviously they can hear trucks coming in from background but I'm wondering if they can have a hot shot at the uh, ammo refresh see what the distance is inches from the troops at the barbed wire and I believe uh, the spots on them then that will work first fired this ability to target is laying a sight up to 48 inches 60 inches of a target is fired so they can see the direction, but laying a sight, they ain't seeing through them that church, the old church, the hedgerow, fields. They actually are behind a, behind a cornfield, them yellow mats represent cornfield. So high stocks or stalks or stems. So, Yeah, but designated high spots such as high hills, church towers, buildings. All right, they do. They have an advantage to seeing over that. So yeah, I'm just reading to see if there's any chance there that uh, somebody could. But the um, naval warfare's firing. I mean, they are rockets firing towards the hill. Artillery could have been called in. Yeah, I'm gonna do sixes to spot them. Gonna make it difficult. And they got a one, so they're not spotting anything. American turnover by the looks of it. That was fairly quick. Yep. Right, so Germans. Here we go. All necessary morale tests. There is none. Chance observation tests are carried out. Uh, they're not in position, so they can't really. Um, Smoke shields are fired, are they going to fire more? Because they're going to disappear, that smoke, this turn. Yep, they're going to fire smoke. 
So that has dissipated because it's a German turn. It's only lasted during the American turn. Their turn last than the American turn now. So, smoke. Same as last time, five sixes, two garages each. Not bothering with the dice camera today because uh, it can take too much time. I haven't got much time to actually get by it. So, five sixes. No! All miss. So, boom, boom, boom. No smoke. Chance observations, no. Smoke shells, no. Figures and vehicles are moved, so let's do them. Okay, so, Germans moved up with their Opel trucks. Tanks moved up to the church. And, uh, Time to get the man out there. Three inches radius. I'm going to put the uh, spotter team, radio team, obviously in the church, high up. There you go, so it's 10 from that section and section for the call in rapids so that's two four five six seven eight nine ten in the German section we have uh, ten man teams in the American and British eight man not too sure why Okay, so Germans have moved on Limerick, their troops, and close assaults are resolved, there is none. Varied is declared and carried out. So we have Germans moved into position, they can observe. Any troops that have fired at them instantly, but nobody's fired at them. So, they know the enemy's in the hills, but this tank is fairly close. 14 inches to the barbed wire. I think it's up to 12 inches, they can make an observation. Six to twelve inches hard cover, six is to see, so yep. Look at these guys. Thirteen inches. So there's no chance observations to see anyone. Yep, Germans can't do anything. Really? You can't see the enemy can't fire the enemy. I suppose they could do indirect fire, but there's no houses to shoot at, only a big hill. So that's it for the Germans. So they basically moved up into the houses.
That's your radio team here. It's going to uh, make it into a church. Next turn, so I'm calling artillery. And uh, that's really it now for now. Let's turn it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.